Hello, in this video, we are going to discuss a problem from uh, physics net exam of 20. The problem is about effect of nuclear motion, uh, which is reduced mass on the spectrum of Palmer series. The question code for the problem is 195 says that the wavelength of first Balmer line of hydrogen is 656 nanometer. The wavelength of the corresponding line for hydrogenic atom with Z equal to 6 and nuclear mass of 19.92 into 10 raised to minus 27 kilogram. 19.92 is more than 10 times the protonic noise, probably 12 times. Okay. We are probably talking about your carbon 12 atom, but it is hydrogenic, which means it is ripped off. Five electrons of the carbon 6 is ripped off. You will have atom which is similar to hydrogen, but with nuclear charge uh, of 6 proton and the mass of 19.9. Uh, and uh, that should give you wavelength of uh, one of these four possible, and we have to decide which one is the correct choice. Let's see how we do. If the uh, Rydberg constant is given by uh, this expression mu, which is reduced mass uh, of nucleus and uh, the electron, z square e raised to four by eight epsilon zero square h cube c. All right, uh, and uh, that uh, uh, if I replace it. Okay, that this expression by the corresponding Rydberg constant, when we assume nuclear mass to be infinitely heavy, that Rydberg constant we call as R in. Okay, so that mu would become actually mass of electron, same formula in R infinity, but now uh, this R infinity is for hydrogen. So if you have uh, a nucleus with Z protons, that would be Z square times R infinity. And because of this reduced mass, you will have a factor of 1 plus small m by capital M in the denominator. Right? So uh, that's what it says. And therefore, your wavelength, which you would be radiated for the same transition corresponding to that in the Balmer series, would be uh, lambda divided by lambda h given by 1 plus small m upon capital M upon 1 plus small m upon mass of hydrogen. This m is, of course, as I said, it's almost 12 times heavier into 1 by z square, right? Because wavelength goes as 1 upon uh, Rydberg constant, 1 by z square. Uh, now, in this case, uh, it so happens that these uh, uh, factors uh, compared to 1 upon z square are almost negligible. So this ratio of wavelength will be almost nearly 1 by z square with z equal to 6. Now your lambda h is 656 nanometers. So lambda will be lambda h divided by z square, which is 36. And that gives you answer of 18.2 nanometer. And that was our option. So it's, it's a very simple problem. Uh, we have uh, 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 neglected the effect of uh, this mass because m upon capital M, uh, uh, if you take M upon hydrogen, this would be 1 by 2000, and that would be uh, almost 12 times more, so 1 by 24,000. So those are a negligible effect. Uh, uh, it would be nearly 1 by 36. That's 18.4. For more of this uh, study material and uh, this kind of video, you may visit our, our website and our YouTube channel. Thank you. Guys.